That's what they should have called this. This has all the bells, all the whistles. I mean, literally. My goodness. I don't even know where to begin. Uh, I guess we're gonna start from the top. We got this top portion here, which is called the lid or the brain of the backpack. This is one of the main things I love about Bell Raven Kaiko. That's K-A-J, K-A. Pockets galore, and at first glance, it doesn't seem like a technical bag. It seems very discreet, very plain, to the point, but far from the truth. This thing is like a hidden gem. <laughs> there are so many crevices, so many trap doors, if you want to call it. Oh my god, it's just unbelievable. Unbelievable backpack. Got the pocket here. This is where I like to put some of my wires, my wallet, my put it up in here. You know, and I believe the wallet is probably the perfect place to put it on top. For the simple fact, you're on the woods, you're hiking, you're camping. It's not like you're gonna. There's gonna be pit stops along the way where you're gonna have to actually make a purchase. <laughs> Feel me? Could you imagine? Hey, who knows? In the near future, you might come to a, uh, you know, a certain post marker. You go, hey, how you doing? Uh, I like to get a, a Gatorade. You be like, how much is that Gatorade? Oh, you take cash or credit? You know what I mean, you don't even need all that. This pocket runs the entire length of the lid itself. See? Now this is also where I like to store all my wires, everything electronic, my phone my battery packs, any PL Raven products that you may own if you have tears, if it's starting to fray, if you have trouble with zippers, buttons, all that stuff. We can go to the PL Raven store located on Green Street, Manhattan, parallel with Broadway, and free of charge. <laughs> all you need is that PL Raven emblem, which is already stitched to your garment. That's all you need. No receipts, no credit card information, none of that. You just bring your BL Raven product, boom. Again, I want to stress, it has to be BL Raven. You can't bring in no Levi's or you can't bring in no Montclair or any of that nonsense. So strictly BL Raven, son. You know what I mean? Box House 78. I'd like to give a shout out to them cats, yo. They always take good care of me. The details. All about the details. I keep saying this. See this zipper here? You know, you got this little rubbery grip here, right? And <laughs> if you guys can see, you know, Fiel Ren, they're not playing. Like, they want it to be known that this is their product. They even have it stitched, I'm sorry, engraved, Fiel Raven. If you guys can see, hard for me to zoom in, but Fiel Raven, baby. You got some thick gloves, right? Real bulky, so you got a hand the size of a bear which I'm trying to get a grip on the zippers here, man. Conventional zippers not gonna work. These, just stick your thumb in, boom. Boom, you know what I mean? No problem. Same thing here, boom, boom. Again, the zipper here, you're gonna, boom, boom. No issue. This lid, believe it or not, guys, is a transformer in disguise. I'm not kidding, check this out. Man, Optimus would be proud. I can't even do the sound effect. I can act like I'm doing it. <laughs> of course, there's many ways you can rock this bag. Wear it like a fanny pack or a crotch pack, if you want to call it. Depending on where it's positioned. No. You need to get something quick, boom. You don't got to reach behind your, your jersey and try to dig in for a snack or what have you. Just... Open it right in front of you, and you know what you got. You know what I mean? Pull it out, whatever you need. You can also wear it as a fanny pack. You can place extra pieces of kit, like maybe first aid kit you could put up here. Sandals, and I'll demonstrate that later in this video. Now this is the, now this pocket probably only goes to about this deep, but the main pocket 
runs the entire length of the bag. Check it out. This is where I put all my wires, my lights. This would be excellent for a first aid kit to place in here as well. Oh, here's a key hoop. Boom, just like that. And I like this little uh, touch that they put here. There's like a, a bearing that they're using, a plastic bearing. Look, and it can rotate 360. Uh, that's pretty neat. I've never seen that before. You just put it in here, just like that. Oh, what do we have here? We got another hidden pocket. So you got one pocket here, then you got the big boy here, personal pocket. Hey, this is where you would place your wallet. This is the perfect spot. This is like a triple changer right here, man. The ultimate transformer. <laughs> Real. There we go. Boom. Boom. Roll lab. So here, now you got right. Now, let's pretend it's nighttime. I said, let's pretend it's nighttime. There we go. And, <laughs> and your headlamp fails, okay? So instead of taking the whole entire backpack off, and, you know, you know the thing weighs like 100 pounds, and now you gotta go rummaging through all these various pockets and you forget where you stored your, your spare torch. No, 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 no. Everything you need is all right here. Boom. Oh yeah. Well, I'm going to well, do, do a lot of other stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Place your water bottle here. You can just cinch it for safekeeping. Although really you have to worry about it. I mean, it's a little loose, but it won't fall out. And if you really want it to be accessible, there's this button mesh here. Snap on. You can snap it on when you're when not in use. And unsnap when you decide you want to use it. You can also put your bottom in this way. Now that's even more secure to be honest with you. You would think that, oh well, this has a greater chance of slipping out. Nah, it's pretty tight. So up top here, even with the draw cord all the way pulled to the max, I mean, you you obviously don't have to worry because of physics. Physics is not going to allow this to slip out, but it's still a little bit loose. But once you put it in here, it's actually quite fast. 
don't think you ever have to worry about it slipping out unless you know you're bending down and pick up a stone or what have you so you just got to be very weary of that yep now this is when the bag transforms into the travel pack when you're ready to travel overseas or in my case to my favorite part of the world Thailand right now I haven't used this backpack to go overseas yet I normally get my Atmos AG by Osprey 55 liter I can't wait to utilize this and to do another review tell you how it is as far as traveling goes but check this out guys this, this is what separates this backpack from all the rest look at that old lid open but look at that oh goodness so as you can see as you can see I have my bear bolt which I keep at the base is what I call the safe deposit <laughs> this is where I have all my GoPro accessories there's that we're gonna close this bag back up again now here's an extension this is practically like the duffel bag part of the rucksack here if you want to achieve more real estate now it extends What's up guys, this is Foxhound78 here. If you're interested in the item that's being reviewed, go down to my description page and click on the link which is highlighted in blue. That's the Amazon link. And that will direct you to your desired page. Two areas where I can fasten this. Here, got a draw cord here. Cinch it there. Also a draw cord here. Cinch really good. Then, to really make this nice and secure so no garments slip out of this or no expensive items, just have this here, boom. Bang, this here, boom. Bang. Oh yeah. There's many different ways that you can adjust this. So you got this little flap here that actually says adjust. This is what you would grab onto. And it has a Velcro lock. And you have this piece here, which you can pull down. Bring it all the way down here. And lock it there. This way it doesn't move. All right. Fit it this way. That's one way you can adjust it. And then the other way, oh, by the way, since I'm here, there's also a little slot, which is called the owner's info. You open that up, and you just jot down your information. You got your name, contact. This way, if your backpack becomes missing, hopefully an honest individual who cares nothing for backpacks will retrieve this and then uh, return it to its rightful owner. However, if you come across an individual that loves backpacks, such as myself, man, you beat.
basically what, you, what you're going to do. Look very carefully, guys. This is very important. Very crucial. So you're going to take these zippers. You're going to open them, obviously. And this reveals another compartment. So this is the base of the backpack. This is where I have everything else but my sleeping pad right from this section on up i have this is the main part obviously that's right here that's my my bear canister or bear bolt this is where i keep all my food see ya.